In this video, we're going to run a full PC benchmark on the Shadow Tech PC. The benchmark will be general stats for the overall PC performance using PC Mark 10, and then a couple of different gaming benchmarks using Unigen Heaven and 3D Mark. The Shadow Tech website lays out the tiers of the cloud gaming PC packages they have. The Shadow package I'm using is the Boost package, which is their standard package as of now. The other tiers are only available once you get the Boost package and upgrade from there. It's also possible to purchase additional hard drive space to accommodate more games to your leisure. To start, we'll check out Shadow Tech's PC stats using a number of utilities including CPU-Z, GPU-Z, and HW Monitor. CPU-Z provides all the technical data on the CPU running your Shadow PC. This machine is running an Intel Xeon E5-2678 version 3, and it's a 12-core server processor that runs at a standard 2.5 GHz. CPUbenchmark.net puts this at a score of 14,732. This score makes it somewhat of a middle-of-the-road processor with somewhat decent power. GPU-Z provides all the technical data on the GPU or the video card on the cloud server you are running. The NVIDIA Quadro P5000 is a workstation card. It's designed to handle multiple applications that use high-end graphics. It boasts 16 gigs of RAM to handle multiple displays and VR applications. It's about equivalent to a GTX 1070 Ti. HW Monitor provides stats for all other components in the PC you are running. This includes voltages, temperatures, and fan speeds on various components like system RAM and hard drives. Here are the stats while on idle. If you were interested in those PC aspects, this program is for you. Here is the overview of the PC stats this Shadow PC is running. For the general overall performance for everyday applications, we'll be putting the Shadow PC through a PC Mark 10 test. The tests in PC Mark 10 are designed to represent typical home user workloads. Running a PC Mark 10 test produces a score with higher numbers indicating better performance. Some of these tests include running applications like word processors, video conferences, and photo and graphics editors. This process can take over 30 minutes, so we'll skip right to the end. Here's the final score for Shadow's Boost PC. With the categories of basic essentials, productivity, and digital content creation, the Boost Shadow PC score comes to 3894, which once again is middle of the road. Now for the meat and potatoes. We'll be using good old Uni Engine Heaven and 3D Mark Advanced to get a solid graphical benchmark. With Unigen Heaven, it's running DirectX 11, but we're maxing all the settings in full screen on 1080p. I'll cut this short for time. I was expecting more from this benchmark considering that this is pretty old benchmarking software, but check out the final stats here. Now let's move on to 3D Mark. With 3D Mark, you get a more extensive testing with all aspects of in game performance. This includes not just a graphical performance benchmark but a benchmark on how well the CPU holds up as well. I'll have MSI Afterburner running in the left corner to provide additional GPU and CPU stats. I'll also cut these benchmarks short due to time.
The 3D Mark benchmark ended up with a score of 5716. Now the graphical results are to be expected from the standard tier 1 boost package. The boost package was meant to run great on 1080p, so the results are pretty typical. So here are the stats and the score compared with other 3D Mark benchmarks. As you can see, the Shadow Boost PC package is a very middle of the road PC. Playing games in Ultra 1080p is no issue. Bumping the graphics up to 2.5K is even doable, but you will have frame rate issues with many games playing in Ultra 4K. You might be able to play better lowering the graphics settings on various games to run 4K if you feel like it. To get a better 4K experience, Upgrade your Shadow package so you can run better gaming hardware on your Shadow Tech PC. We'll be doing more comparisons on our Shadow Tech PC and other PC builds with various games in the upcoming future. Make sure to like and subscribe so you can stay informed on the latest on Shadow Tech and all other cloud gaming technologies. So stay tuned right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.